Hello people, in this video let us look at the changes uh, in breast which happens in pregnancy. Basically, these are physiological changes that happen during pregnancy. First of all, um, this is the uh, basic unit of mammary gland. You can see here that it has something like alveoli. Then around the alveoli there are capillaries, right? That is the blood vessels. Then you have the myoepithelial cells. So, uh, this is the breast. Uh, uh, here you can see these lobules, right? And then these lactiferous ducts opening at the nipple. Multiple lactiferous ducts are opening here. Just before the lactiferous ducts, you are able to see these uh, sinuses dilated, right? The sinuses you can see before the lactiferous ducts, okay? So, here you have what you are seeing are the alveolus, okay? Then, what happens to the breast in pregnancy? Basically, there will be breast discomfort in the form of a feeling of fullness. What will be there? A feeling of fullness because there is breast enlargement. There is a pricking sensation. This will be evident when 6 to 8th week of uh, pregnancy, especially in a primary gravida. That means as soon as she uh, uh, finds out that she is pregnant, soon after that she can know that um, there is some breast discomfort, pricking sensation. Okay, so this is uh, what is patient's words you can say. Uh, who is a primary gravida? Basically a person who has got pregnant for the first time. That's a primary, primary gravida. It is more evident in primary gravida these things. Okay, now uh, what you will see is uh, that uh, the breasts are enlarged. Right, and they uh, they often contain milk for years. They can still contain. Okay, the breast changes are evident between six to eight weeks. We told you this. There is enlargement of the breast with vascular engorgement. So not just the breast enlargement, even the vessels. There is vascular engorgement. So you can see delicate veins visible under the skin. You can see the veins under the skin. Okay, then uh, the nipple and the areola. That is a uh, uh, are the breast, right? If this is the breast and if this is the areola and if it's the nipple. So, what is happening here? These become more pigmented, okay? And um, in the areola, you will see some sebaceous glands which have hypertrophy. Those are called as Montog Montgomery tubercles, okay? And the breast secretes colostrum as early as 12th week. You can even express it by pressing. As early as 12th week, the, uh, the breast is making colostrum. So basically, it's preparing for the child to come. Colostrum is uh, highly uh, uh, nutritious uh, for the baby. It should not be thrown away. Okay. So, uh, now let us look at the changes of uh, breast in pregnancy. We will look at the uh, uh, a little more details. Whatever we saw now, same things, details we are looking at. So, what is happening here? It is more evident in a primary gravida, 6 to 8 weeks, that's what they are saying, right? There is increased size of breast. Why is the breast size increasing? Because it's hypertrophy. What and all is getting hypertrophy? The ducts are getting hypertrophy because of estrogen. The alveoli getting hypertrophy because of estrogen and progesterone, right? There is a mark in the peripheral lobules. You see, the peripheral lobules, the alveoli which are there, those are markedly hypertrophied, okay? There is hypertrophy of the connective tissue stroma, even the stroma that is between these lobules, right? Whatever is there, that is the stroma, isn't it? Even that is undergoing hypertrophy. So, why is the size of the breast increasing in pregnancy? Because of hypertrophy of the alveoli, especially in the peripheral lobules. Then there is ducts which are also um, hypertrophic because of all the estrogen and progesterone effect. And then there is hypertrophy of the connective tissue stroma. Myoepithelial cells become prominent. We have shown you around the alveoli, so you have the myoepithelial cells, they are also prominent. Then the vascularity increase, we told you the blood vessels, uh, etc. So you can see under the skin bluish veins, the appearance of bluish veins you can see under the skin. Then the axillary tail of the breast, what happens, it also becomes enlarged and this can become painful. So how will you draw the axillary tail of the breast? If this is the breast here, you will draw the axillary tail, right? That's how you draw it. That is going into your axilla. This is your right breast, let's say. This is your axilla. So what will happen here? The axillary tail will get the prolongation of the breast tissue. Uh, under the pectoralis major, right? This is what they are saying, axillary tail. Prolongation of the breast tissue under the cover of the pectoralis major. So, this becomes enlarged and painful. Then there may be evidence of striation due to stretching of the cutis. Now, where is this cutis? Cutis is nothing but skin, right? So, basically because the breast is in, from inside, it is hypertrophing, enlarging. The outside, what is happening? There is striation because of uh, the stretching of the skin. Skin. skin is also stretching, so there are some uh, stretch marks kind of a thing, okay. Then coming to the uh, nipples and areola, what is happening? Let us look at this image first. Uh, what is this image telling you guys? So here you can see that the nipple and the areola, they have become very uh, pigmented, right? There is pronounced pigmentation of the primary areola and nipple. This is the primary areola. 
uh, and this is the nipple so all these are becoming pronounced pigment pig pigment is increasing you can also see the montego meri tubercles see this is the word they are looking for montego meri tubercles then you can see here that there is secondary areola has developed again another terminology that you have to write the secondary areola has developed and there is increased vascularity okay so what are now will you say montego meri tubercles secondary areola increased vascularity uh, striae etc so the nipple will become large erectile and deeply pigmented so you can see the nipple has become erectile kind of straight uh, pointed kind of a thing deeply pigmented large it has become everything has become large the variable number of sebaceous glands uh, uh, which remain invisible in the non pregnant state so basically these are there the sebaceous glands were there in the non pregnant state they become hypertrophied and these are called as montego meri tubercles so did you understand the same sebaceous glands which were present earlier now they have become hypertrophied and these are called as montego meri tubercles they are surrounding the nipples okay what do these do these are sebaceous glands so they will secrete some uh, a substance to keep the nipple uh, moist and healthy okay then basically sebaceous glands secrete oil isn't it then the uh, outer zone an outer zone of less marked irregularly ill irregular pigmented area appears in second trimester in second trimester the second area secondary areola develops okay around the primary areola in second trimester it develops okay then coming to secretions we already have told you anyways colostrum is secreted uh, at 12 weeks itself you can try to squeeze and express it uh, this will be sticky then uh, yeah, later on it becomes thick and yellowish then what is this it is an important sign of pregnancy if she has never ever lactated right uh, if she is uh, producing colostrum then it is a uh, sign of pregnancy okay that's it so we are done with the breast changes in pregnancy take a summary what did you understand there will be breast and discomfort fullness pricking sensation especially 2 to 8 weeks especially in a primary gravida that's who was pregnant for the first time there will be increased size of the breast myoepithelial tissue will become more ducts will become uh, hypertrophied alveoli alveoli will become hypertrophied stroma will become uh, hypertrophied vascularity is increased there is appearance of bluish veins under the skin the axillary tail also will uh, become enlarged and painful there will be striae because of the stretching of the skin nipples and areola nipple will become large erectile and deeply pigmented even the areola will become pigmented the areola already has something called a sebaceous uh, has sebaceous glands uh, in the non pregnant state these will now become hypertrophic these are called as montego meri tubercles they will secrete substances to keep the nipple and the areola moist and healthy um then there is a in the second trimester around the primary uh, areola you will the person will develop secondary areola the photo of which you have seen here okay draw that the diagram in the exam you will get marks coming to secretion uh, about 12 to 3 kisses there can be secretion of colostrum Of which will be initially sticky. Later on, about 16 weeks, it will become thick and yellow. A demonstration of this colostrum in a person who has never ever lactated before is an important sign of pregnancy. It's an important sign of pregnancy. Okay. So that's it about uh, breast changes in pregnancy, guys. This is physiological change. That means everything about it is normal. Okay. Bye, guys.